everyone i am chandrashekhar sharma i graduated from iit bombay and currently teaching physics in coaching hub kota previously we have discussed 23 problems and out of those 23 problems uh, i think i have given solutions of all of them so i was on a summer break for 2 months and i am back with some new problems so uh, in this section i am giving you 10 problems uh, yeah 9 to 10 problems all those problems are of je advanced level some problems are from past je papers which i feel are very important for this year as well and uh, I, i'll be giving you 8 to uh, 9 to 10 problems right now you have to solve those those problems and i'll come up with solutions tomorrow okay if response is good i'll come up with other other set of problems and i'll try to do at least 100 problems in next 10 20 days and uh, uh, if possible more so we are starting with this first problem uh, okay before that i am also i i also want to say that i'll be coming up with some tips for je advance how to prepare for je advance how to utilize your time and uh, what should be the best strategy which topic you should choose and uh, previously in january attempt of je main i uh, suggested uh, some important parts of a particular chapter and that was a specific series named 3 minutes on each topic so that was je main specific now within next few weeks one or two weeks uh, before je advance obviously before uh, like you will be having enough time to revise so uh, i'll be coming up with another series in which i'll cover specific parts of a particular topic most important topics of je advance which you should definitely revise okay so i hope uh, it will be beneficial for you in case uh, you want to suggest anything or you need any advice you just write in the comment box uh, in um, provided below or you can write me an email okay so this uh, so we are starting with this uh, particular set of problems the first problem is from je advance 2001 and this is a very cool problem as you can see uh, that there are two walls and p and q are two elastic rubbers okay and this is a metallic plate and this is heavy metallic plate it is given here that this is a heavy metallic plate so both the uh, walls are at 90 degree angle and this heavy metallic plate is having some initial angular speed omega okay so it collides with q then it collides with p collides with q p and it uh, keep keep on colliding p and q okay so you are supposed to answer some questions first find the location of center of mass of the laminar sheet from ab some information is given here or uh, from that information you have to find out the location of center mass at what angular velocity does the laminar sheet come back after the first impact uh, this is a very very important question for je advance because i feel that this type of question can also come in comprehension and it is a clear cut comprehension here also you can see there are three questions so at that time उस टाइम पर आई आई एडवांस में कॉम्प्रेंशन आया नहीं करते थे बट कहीं ना कहीं देखा जाए तो यही तो कॉम्प्रेंशन है जो बाद में कॉम्प्रेंशन बने इसमें ऑप्शन आ जाएंगे तो कॉम्प्रेंशन बन जाएगा द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन सेज दैट आफ्टर हाउ मेनी इम्पैक्ट डज द लेमिनार शीट कम्स टू रेस्ट दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट बिकॉज टोटल नंबर ऑफ कोलिजन विल बी इनफाइनाइट यू विल कम टू नो दैट when you it is just a hint for you in case you want to start it right now so when you will solve it you will come to know that after every collision the omega is same so data are adjusted in such a way that there is no loss of energy okay so you have to solve it and keep the answer with you and wait till tomorrow i'll give you the answer with solution in case you are not able to solve it the next problem is another interesting problem from electrostatics so you know i am choosing different different topics so that you can have a flavor of all the entire je syllabus so again i am saying uh, how many sets of problem i'll give it depends on your 
response if you you guys are responding in proper way i'll definitely come up with more problems a cone made of insulating material has a total charge q is equal to 3 mic milli coulomb spread uniformly over its sloping surface calculate the energy required to take a charge q 5 micro coulomb from infinity to apex a of the cone theta is given to you so this is another interesting problem uh, you are supposed to uh, bring a charge from infinity to apex a. so in short you want to calculate potential energy of this point charge at this apex okay so i can give you uh, some advice or you can say hint you have to consider an elementary ring here on the surface and then calculate potential and then integrate next problem is from capacitor a parallel plate capacitor is filled by a dielectric whose relative permittivity varies with the applied voltage according to the law alpha v where alpha is equal to 2 per volt the same but containing no dielectric capacitor charged to a voltage v not equal to 312 volt is connected in parallel to the first non-linear uncharged capacitor determine the final voltage across the capacitor this classical problem is from erodo so i have selected this problem because i thought it will be beneficial for you and you know in j advanced nowadays this type of crispy problems is a trend these are all very crispy problems you have to just apply single equation and you will be landing somewhere maybe it is a quality equation or maybe it is a linear equation or something like that and you can easily solve and get the answer now i am coming to the next challenging problem this challenging problem is from electrostatics again a positive charge plus q1 is located to the left of a negative charge minus q2 on a line passing through the two charges there are two plates where the total potential is zero the reference is assumed to be at infinity the first plate is in between is between the charge charges and 4 cm to the left of the negative charge the second plate is at a distance 7 cm to the right of the negative charge if q2 is equal to minus 12 micro coulomb what is the value of charge q1 in micro coulomb okay so this is another challenging problem for you so you just try this problem it is another classical problem where you have to think about it think about the property of uh, um, conductors and accordingly plan the next problem is from electrostatic that too from the very interesting topic potentiometer for the arrangement of the potentiometer shown in the figure the balance point is obtained at a distance 75 centimeter from a when the key k is open the second balance point is obtained at 60 centimeter from a when the key is closed find the internal resistance of the battery even okay so you are given the data and you have to find out internal resistance i have given answer of every question in the corner so in case you you can you have solved it and get the same answer you can uh, uh, you can justify yourself or if you are not getting this answer wait for the solution or if you feel that my answer is wrong you can write in the comment box so that i can correct it next problem this is another interesting problem और आपको बता दूं जेई एडवांस के इंटीजर्स में खास तौर पर इस तरह के क्वेश्चंस पूछे जाते हैं ये क्वेश्चन जो है ये मॉडर्न फिजिक्स से है रेडियो एक्टिविटी से है और इस तरह के क्वेश्चंस आपको देखने को जरूर मिलेंगे डेफिनेटली इतने क्वेश्चन इसका मिलेगा इन अ स्लो रिएक्शन हीट इज बीइंग एवॉर्ड एट अ रेट अबाउट 10 मिलीवोल्ट इन अ लिक्विड इफ the heat were being generated by the decay of 32 phosphorus a radioactive isotope of phosphorus that has half-life of 14 days and emits only beta particles with a mean energy of 700 kilo electron volt estimate the number of 32 phosphorus atoms in the liquid express your answer in form of a into 10 to the power 15 and fill in omr sheet this was a standard question okay so uh, i've re uh, OMR sheet is written here but uh, you can neglect this particular line round of a to a nearest integer take ln2 is equal to 0.7 so ye bhi ek bahut achhi problem hai isse aapko radioactivity revise karne ka mauka milega aur ye keh sakte ho ekdam sateek sawal hai jis tarah ke sawal iitj advance mein aate hain 
now coming to the next problem which is from uh, uh, yeah two long straight wire of telephone circuit inside a house are coplanar with and run parallel to the third long wire current is given to you the wires are at a, are at a distance d1 from d2 from the conductor the conductor induces a noise in the telephone circuit what is the rms voltage per unit length of the current of this induced emf express your answer in micro volt take d2 is equal to 2d1 and this is the information so this is another straight, uh, interesting problem from emi chapter okay you are given three wires in which one of the wire is having a current other wires do not have uh, other wires will have current uh, but that will be induced current okay okay now uh, you are supposed to calculate rms voltage per unit length in the of this induced emf now coming to the next problem these two problems are from Klapner. A cone of high touch and base radius R is free to rotate about a fixed vertical axis. This is a cone and this is free to rotate about this vertical axis. And the initial angular velocity of the cone is omega naught. Okay. We have placed a mass, very small mass here and that mass is sliding down. And you are supposed to calculate angular speed when the mass is at the bottom. Okay. The moment of inertia of the cone is given to you. Second is, you have to calculate the speed of block. In the inertial frame space, inertial space means ground frame. You have to ground frame ke andar, uske upar, uske speed. Hai. Okay. So, this is next challenging problem, 31. Our challenging problem number 32. A marble of radius B rolls back and forth in a shallow dish of radius R. Find the frequency of a small oscillation. So, this problem is basically an SHM problem. I have given you an SHM question here. So, I have given you SHM, Central Mass, Electrostatic, Magnetic, EMI, Current, and where my question is RBD. I have tried in some topics in 9-10 questions in cover some topics. You have tried to solve these questions. The children who are in 11th class, who are preparing for 11th class, they have problems हो सकता है समझ में ना आए क्योंकि उनके लिए नई है लेकिन जो बच्चे 11th कंप्लीट करके 12th में चले गए हैं एंड हु आर एमिंग फॉर आईटी जेई एडवांस नेक्स्ट ईयर वो बच्चे भी इन क्वेश्चंस को ट्राई कर सकते हैं क्योंकि मोस्ट ऑफ द सिलेबस इनका कंप्लीट हो चुका है और अगर उन्होंने ग्रेविटेशन पढ़ा होगा तो इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स के क्वेश्चन भी वो कर सकते हैं नहीं पढ़ा हो तो इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स वाले क्वेश्चंस को वो छोड़ सकते हैं बट बाकी क्वेश्चंस को डेफिनेटली कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो आई विश गुड लक टू ऑल ऑफ यू और देखते रहिएगा टच में रहिएगा क्योंकि मैं जो आपको अगले कुछ वीडियोस हो मोस्टली आज मैं डालूंगा उसमें मैं आपको बताऊंगा कि किस तरह से आने वाले समय का बेहतर इस्तेमाल किया जाए और जेई एडवांस में अच्छी रैंक लाई जाए और उसके बाद हो सकता है कि आज कल दो तीन दिन में मैं आपको बताऊँ कि स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक का कौन सा पार्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट है तो हर टॉपिक पर मोस्टली मैं पाँच मिनट आपको दूंगा जेई मेन्स में मैंने हर टॉपिक पे तीन मिनट में आपको बताया था कि इस टॉपिक में क्या इम्पॉर्टेंट है यहाँ पर मैं हर एक टॉपिक में पाँच मिनट के आसपास आपको बताऊंगा कि इसमें क्या चीज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट है ठीक है तो ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा फ़ायदा उठाइए अपने दोस्तों को भी बताइए और सब्सक्राइब करिए ताकि मेरे जितने भी इस तरह के वीडियोज़ और इन्फॉर्मेशन हो वो टाइमली आप तक पहुँचे थैंक यू गुड लक